You should show them. Show where them. You don't want to go. Just know that that's not where you want to be. I'll tell you where I want to be. Total Archer Challenge. How's about you? Total Archer Challenge, man. Top pin. We finally got some history with an event. Time out. Are we doing the winner? Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. Total Archer Challenge. Because I just did a segue. Seg it. And then you just shit on it. <laughs> seg it. Seg it again. That was super freaking awesome day. The rest of your day and stuff. Okay bye. Speaking of having a freaking awesome day. I want to make someone's day even awesomer. Guys, I know why you're tuned in. You want to see who the winners are to shoot with us at Total Archer Challenge. I love Total Archer Challenge because the targets are crazy hard shots. It's in a beautiful landscape and there's amazing people. And we want to announce the winners. Over 5,000 people entered. We did a random number generator. I get nervous because I don't know who we're shooting with. What if you are a serial killer sociopath? What if you are the coolest people on earth? The latter is usually what it is and I hope this year's the same. So we have a guy and we actually have a gal. What are the odds? Pretty crazy. Tell them about it, dude. Yeah, so the first one, your name is? Justin. Yo, do you want to come shoot Big Sky Montana with us? Yeah, that sounds awesome. Where are you located? Kentucky. Can you wow. get there? Cool. Saturday would be a cool day to be there because everyone will be getting down that evening. Yeah, that'd be awesome. And getting down with Jake is, gets kind of weird, so <laughs> whatever. Yeah, that's, a, that's what it looks like. <laughs> so Saturday, July 30th, we're going to shoot the course at 8 a.m. And you got Tim's number now, so just shoot him a text when you touch down. That sounds awesome, guys. Can't wait. Cool. Awesome, buddy. Winner number two. First 3D match of the season, guys. In three, two, one. Well, we're gonna be late because of me. Uh, I decided to take a shortcut because Jake and I went bear hunting and uh, stayed the night at the cabin. And I'm like, oh, there's a shortcut to Silver Mountain, just straight over the mountains. It'll save us 45 minutes. We got so close and then we hit north facing snow and had to do an Austin Powers turnaround job. And uh, called Tim from the top of the mountain and said, hey, we're only gonna be an hour and a half late maybe two. So hopefully we'll get over there and get an opportunity to shoot. Um, I suck, but we'll get there. Welcome to Silver Mountain Resort. In a very strange turn of events, our friends thought it would be smart to go across the top of the mountains. And we got a good friend Tyler here. What's up? So Tyler and I are gonna make lemons out of lemonade and um, probably just be really warmed up by the time those guys get here. So, Dan and Jake, when you watch this, you are dipshits. <laughs> there was a chance you would make it across. Probably there was a bigger chance that you were. Yeah, according to Tyler, probably not. When you got to be somewhere, future advice: the highway is a safer route. Definitely. We're gonna head up the hill, and and Tyler and I are just gonna have some fun, man. We're gonna right. rip some arrows, and we're gonna be super warmed up by the time they get here. It is kind of weird going down a chairlift, as my friend Tyler here would say. It's That's different. Right. Different. <laughs> it's actually kind of a cluster to film <laughs> these things for you guys. So I do hope you appreciate it when we make these videos. We got just, it's just a lot, but um, we do it because we enjoy doing it too. That's part of it for sure. And because we want to be ready to take down Dan for tack. We're supposed to take down Dan today. Maybe we'll get some version of that. And uh, they ran into snow. That's mountain travel in the summer. Uh, a gamble for sure. And the Tyler and Tim show. We're gonna rip some arrows, have some fun, and get up this chairlift. Tyler decided he wanted to come out swinging and take me down. And this is the first 14 I've ever called. That's like a uh, good juju right there. Pretty cool. Tyler's That's been shooting really good. So I think we, we're gonna have something today.
probably shoot rip TKOs, my friends, other than that they fly really good. You don't have to worry about blowing out an arm muscle trying to uh, pull out your arrows. Jake Webb, <laughs> that's how Tyler Aww. got those guns. Jake Webb used to do the same thing and then he just got really sick of using brute force to get his arrows out. Anyway, they're good arrows. I would shoot whatever is good for you. We're 10 targets in, then we're gonna go find the boys. This is kind of like a me v Tyler, just really having fun. I would say uh, so far so good. Really tough lighting for any of you video people out there, like just the absolute worst. Can't, can't change that, so we'll do our best. <laughs> Hello YouTube friends. We are late. I admit it. That's my fault. Team competition today was supposed to be Jake and Tim versus me and my good friend Tyler because we were late and understandably Tim and Tyler decided to go ahead and shoot one of the two really good courses. Got off the phone with Tim and he said, why don't you guys just wait for us to get done? We're on target 10 of 25. By the way, we're shooting really good. We're gonna whip your asses. And I was like, okay, here's what we're gonna do. So here's the plan. And this is important, so listen up. We're switching teams. Jake and I are now a team because of Tim's big mouth. Tyler doesn't talk crap. He's a good dude. Tim's not a good dude. <laughs> and, um, we're gonna go to the course, but we are gonna tell them that Jake and I are now a team and we're gonna scout it out and hopefully it doesn't backfire and hopefully Tim misses at least one target on camera today. Here we go. Absolute hooligans. <laughs> hooligans? <laughs> yeah, hooligans. Oh, I hurt my feelings. <laughs> yeah, I hurt his feelings so much he kicked me off his team. Adopted the sleeveless one. You trying to get some on that gondola tonight or what? <laughs> about to beat that ass. Bring, you bring up some bad memories. <laughs> Tournament gonna, course. I say we do the end of the next course like straight up with some with like for real. Okay, so this will just be kind of fun, get a warm up. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. 20, right? I think you guys deserve a warm up, man. I'm I'm warm. I'm good to go. Last thing I want is an excuse when it's all said and done. No. Well, we were gonna go scout the other course. To be <laughs> honest, it's real life. I thought I would take a shortcut today and go over the mountains, and that did not work out very well. I'm gonna rip this off. I don't think you'd shoot your best with your sleeves on. I don't think it's possible. I think this is a formula. Well, give me your guys' recap, mister. Like, what have you guys been doing? Well, I met Tyler, who was here on time in a very timely manner. He was here early, reserved us a spot, had coffees waiting for us and all that stuff. We've just been shooting, man. We just shot the first 12 targets and I would say it's gone pretty well so far. You're for your ass because I, in Alaska, Tim took a crap and had to use a sock. So you can have my sleeves. It's just gonna be here. a great day. Josh Jones is here. He was in third place. MFJJ, I guess is in third place, bow hunter class. Yeah, well, we just got a great day lined up here. The way it shook out, Dan and Jake were able to meet us for the back half of our warm-up course. We had a chance to warm up, fling a few arrows, and the stage was set for our biggest showdown. Dan and Jake versus Tyler and myself. Best ball style where the arrow that is the best score counts towards the team score. And at the end, the team with the highest score is the winner. What's this? You're standing yeah. up getting ready to go. Uh, took the triple stack off. So I have a 3D site and I have a uh, hunting site. So my hunting site's the dual track from Black Gold. I just pop that out of the bridge lock with my RIP TKO, set that aside, and I grabbed these extreme velocities that are 410 total weight. And I slept on the Ultra View, what is it, the Youth UV3. Yep. It's a two pin. It's a smaller housing, it's a 30 millimeter housing. I'm able to shoot the entire sight tape so I can shoot out to 125 yards with that setup. I was getting contact on my triple stack like at 100 yards and I wasn't liking that. So it's just too big of a housing. I like the idea of a three pin vertical, but it's not gonna work for me. So the biggest switch for me today is I just put that sight on actually yesterday. No excuses though, I'm still gonna have to shoot well to beat these guys here we go so gotta shoot it jake you do anything fancy any top secret stuff you need to tell these people about nope my bow is set up honestly for hunting right now i have broadheads in my quiver because we were bear hunting yesterday and me and tim will be bear hunting tonight so i'm just here to have fun td what's up tell them about what you got dog i got a Botech experience is it fast i have no idea is it reliable it is i shoot it pretty well most of the time, and I've had it for six years. So, so you're shooting really well today. Yeah. We started out strong, and yep. uh, I think- We're gonna continue. We're gonna continue. 10s and 12s and 14s. 14s, top titties. <laughs> okay, so if it lands like that, we win. That's tails, this is heads. Tim's talking trash saying that it's gonna land like that. 80% chance it does. Let's see what happens. 
60% of the time, every time. Flip that sucker. Boom! Yeah, Jack. That was lucky. So that ain't the last He won. He won the today. flip, but first he's going to lose the last. shoot. That ain't the last dub we're going to catch today. If you guys won the flip, would you like to go first or default? I would say default. That way we can break their arrows. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's Tyler, man. He's soft-spoken, but when he's got something to say, that was a zing. That zinged me. Zinger. All right, Jake, I'm going to go first, and then uh, you have to, then one of their guys will go. Let me just say the interesting thing real quick, Tyler set up fixed pin. He's fixed pin just like he's hunting, he's training for hunting. But he's shooting this fixed pin really well, gap shooting it. Just just another some food for thought for your fixed pin kinda kinda guy. That's a ten. Thirty-two point six. I'm dialing it in and I'm shooting for fourteen. Gotta call these. A little hot. Tyler got a 10 and I got a 10. Okay, so we're tied up. 10-10. Ten, ten, ten. Ten. Number two, wolf. If you're low, you're hitting the metal pipe. If you're high, it's going to the bottom of the mountain. In 30 yards, why are you gonna plant those negative seeds, Jake? I just, I'm just letting you know that's what the risk is. Scores. Tied up, 10-10. Ten, ten. Going for 14. Okay. Little white dot. Pretty sure that's good. Jake, you did it. Yeah. You did it, folks. Tyler's. Tyler's a 10, I'm a they 10. So you're going for 12? So me and Dan, we got 10, they got a five. Put that on. I got a very strategic move we're about to make. We're gonna put this arrow away and we're gonna grab the next arrow. And that, I think, the, that's gonna make the difference. it'll make the difference. We're this is the arrow that's gonna bring us home. You think because you're nine like, points? Those arrows are like spine aligned, tuned. He you like think floated you're... them in his bathtub. <laughs> it, like he weighed every like ounce of glue. Those yeah. arrows are exactly the same. You think because you're nine points up, you got like the big cheese right now? I think it's the wrist. You did too much like <laughs> something. Your wrist is all wobbly. You got a wobbly <laughs> wrist. <laughs> Hurt your feelings if we're like 20 up when we finish. 32. 32 feeling brand new. Dude, Jake is really getting revved up for time. <laughs> Jake, I live my life one arrow at a time. What's your for the 14? 14. I love the confidence. Ooh. We got fives. They got a 10. Sweet. Fives? So we're minus four. Five? You're still down and you had that big of a jump? <laughs> okay, we got Tim with a 14, Tyler with a 12, Dan with a 10, Jake with an 8. We lost that round and the boys have are now within two points of us. Is that so right? So we got a 14, you got a what? 10. 10. So we're, so we're tied. tied. Perfect. Ten for each. Still learning how to read. My eyes are almost as bad as Dan's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's saying something. <laughs> Bottom twelve. Oh my god. <laughs> whatever whatever bugs bugs. <laughs> I can't believe it. Just... What up, bear? Three yards. Dang, dude. So. I mean, if you don't get this, guys, it's. Tyler just points. got a eight. The rest of the day is done. Tim's going. Little bear. That is a ten. I don't know. Let's go That's see. <laughs> oh, he's just out. All right, we're actually gonna try to like show you something this is one of those novelty targets where it's like one two three yards okay so you're looking at where jake's standing all right i use my 60 yard pin for the 14. tyler used his 40. what'd you use 60. 
60 and you were a little hot yeah i think it's by 50. 50 okay what are you going to use 60. all right let's but find let's find her out let's your housing is further out than mine dan let's find out 50. you gonna go for 14. 14 yeah okay Perfecto, mundo. That you found it. Now, why didn't you know that before today? You would have helped your team out. <laughs> because <laughs> he doesn't shoot animals that close. I don't shoot that close. So what was your guys' score on that? What like what was your best score? Ten? We got ten. And we got fourteen, yeah. so now we're up six. We're at eleven. Halfway home. It's only twenty? Holy crap, I'm scared. Ten oh Lord. We have uh we're down by six. <laughs> just joking we're up by six but actually that doesn't mean anything we've had we've seen it flip-flop it's been fun doing this so what we're doing is alternating teams shooting first proceeding to talk a lot of smack getting ready for tack although all most of these shots have been i think the furthest was 50 oh 67 the caribou right. you want to talk about that target no i don't <laughs> well, i don't want to talk about the cougar either so here we are and uh, we're up six tim's just starting to heat up so be on the lookout how you're shooting how are you shooting I got an adjustment I want to make, but I'm not going to do it today. I need a smaller peep, man. I don't like my sight picture. My I got a hot dog in a hallway right now. But other than that, I feel like I'm getting awesome practice, shooting very controlled shots, talking crap. I love it. it this is the best, man. And we have the mountain to ourselves. So, no yeah, it's, it's been good. It's been fun. How are you shooting, Jake? I, I feel like I'm shooting good. My shots have been consistently low. I'm adding a yard to most of my shots. My bow is set up right now for hunting because we are literally hunting tonight. My hunting site, hunting feet, all that good stuff on there. So this site is going to change before tax. Tim's going down for sure. I think we got room to shoot better, Tyler. I don't think we, I think we've brought our B minus game, if I'm being honest. Let's see it. And uh, we just got to try to ramp it up a little bit. I've been making adjustments, which is never fun on the course. Life is good. <laughs> Left and right are, and we got ten targets to take that dub today. We gotta take that dub today. I don't want no ties, no no BS. We're gonna, you're a tie. Yep. Oh. Got it. If it ties, we'll do a shoot off. Shoot off at the end. Shoot. No, I don't need to see that. Jake, you're up first. Thirty six. I get a 14. 14 to Tyler. Yeah. You get a camera appearance for that. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> 10 and 10. So we're up two still. We're up two. Yeah, they're coming for us. That's okay. That's rude, Tim. So there you go. Big swing and uh, Tim got a, what's well, not a 12? So he's on the line. That yep. Angle, I... Far as way as you can be from being a 12, but being a 12. He only got that because if you look where <laughs> this orange arrow is, he Keep ricocheted my... in. Hey, he, man. He messed up my He's selection. resourceful. Guys, we're tied up with six targets to go. Boom. Must be going for bottom 12. Two tens. Two tens. Tim and Dan. Ten ten. T and D. Under pressure. Ding 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 ding. All right, quick update here. Jacob went over the top. He just had to have that. In. Dan is. <laughs> Oh, team dry fire. They just like to fire one direction. They don't like when it comes back their way. We got Dan making a big shot here. They're all big shots, Tim. Might be an eight. Tyler and Tim got tens. Dan got an eight. My arrow's over here in pieces somewhere. And what does that put the score at? You guys are plus two. Okay. Went from a tie ball game to plus two. Sixteen. 
This means we only have four left after this target. We have tens. Ten, ten. Ten, ten. They're up by two. Tim was going for that. He was risking it for the biscuit, so I like that. Winner number two. The lady. <laughs> Tiff. Tiffany Doman, what's up? I don't know where you live in this world. We drew your name out of the hat. Uh, we looked on your Instagram and you look like you shoot bows and you like the outdoors and you look cool. Come hang out with us. You got 48 hours, you're on the clock. Get a hold of him, Jake, or me via Instagram or email and let us know if you're in or if you're out. And if both these people are out, we will just pull more names out of the hats till we have our shooters. And if you didn't win TAC, you can win these. You can win this. The guys at Redfin Polarized reached out to Dan and I a couple months ago, wanted to send us some shades. Dan's been wearing them, I've been wearing them. And they just said, hey, like, we like what you guys are doing. Let's give your subs some stuff. So how many pairs did they want to give away? Three pairs Three of shades. Pair. And all you got to do is drop a comment. A positive one. And let oh, us know. Positive one, yeah. Let us know something cool about you. That's it. Just shoot, 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 shoot. I'm cool. I love archery. And then we'll pick three of you. We'll send you some shades. These are made Italy. And uh, they're feel fancy Zeiss, wearing them. Zeiss lenses, mm -hmm. pretty dope. Drop a comment, we'll put you in touch with Redfin. And if you like their shades and you want to buy more, use the discount code ELKSHAPE. They'll give you guys 15% off. Tyler's gonna shoot a 10. He's gonna aim just for the middle of the middle. I feel a lot of pressure, we're down two. You can cut the tension with a knife right now. I feel so much pressure. I would not be standing this close to you if it wasn't for our YouTube subscribers and us trying to make a video. Competition brings out the best in everybody. That's true. Or the worst. Now Tyler's crushing today, guys. Jacob the Web. He's sleeveless for a reason, folks. Going top tees. That's a 10. That's Tim Connor. How do you think? How are you feeling after that shot, Tim? I mean, that was not my best shot, but I don't know. I'm feeling pretty good. I like like today's been good. Are you ready for tack? I got things to clean up for sure. Same here. Yeah. Same here. Starting with my bow, I got to make sure everything's good <laughs> after the old incident. What incident? But Ad I've been shooting really admit good. Admit it. I've been shooting really good in waves, so I just got to be more consistent. Ooh. What we got? You risked it. I, I didn't get a ten. I got an eight. Oh. So. They got an eight, we got a 12. Okay. You think that's an eight, Jacob? For sure, here's the 10 line. Yeah, you can see the line. Yeah. So we're on number 18. Dan just tied it up. Even game. Not a whole lot of targets left to go, so pressure is on. Tim's up first. Let's see what he does. 55.6. I'm going top tees, Ty. Yeah, you got time. Target 18, Tim shot first, I think he got an eight. Jake shot second, I think he got an eight. Tyler shot third, I think he might have got a five or an eight. And then I called top T and I felt like I hit the orange on the bottom, which means I'm low. We'll find out. Either way, we gotta sort this out and see who's on top with two targets to go. I don't see any tens. Eight and eight. What a waste of an opportunity, Staten. Two targets left, 18 yards, Coyote. Dan's going for a 12. We got the target cam for you guys. 14. 14. That might be a 14. It's very close. It looks like a 14. It's a nice shot, dude. I can't, I think it's 14, but I can't tell for sure. It's very close. I'm really nervous. It's very close. Makes sense. It's basically a private consult, guys. Dan thinks 14, Jake don't know. A lot of uncertainty. We don't think Dan is on the 14, but he could be. And that's kind of like a really big deal. Ty gave me a safe 10. I really like the size of that 14. I'm kind of feeling it. It's exciting. This is exciting. This is a money shot. Wait at his back. Just see, there. Just see there. Yeah, the, place on the wind picked up. Yeah. 
a touch low. Hello. Shit. We got Tyler. Ten Tyler. Drake the snake. All right, so this is target 19. 19 yards. Tim's up. Sounded like he hit Dan Zero. Yeah, but it looks a little tighter to the white circle, dude. Let's go check it out. What's the skizzy? Mm, that's what you thought it was. Tim got a 14. Dan was just out. Tyler got. Ten. Don't matter. I got an eight. Thank you. <laughs> By the hair of his little nut sack. Twenty-two point two. No. Twenty-two. For update, Tyler got a ten. Weird. And we got an eight. Huh? Eight. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I'll get in here real quick. We're going to say goodbye to these guys. Actually, I'm going to go bounce. My kids are at the resort down. I'm going to go swim with my kids. I'm going to make deposits into their account so I can withdraw come September. Tim, shot great. Tyler, great job. Tip my hat to you guys. We lost by four. We lost by six points. Yeah, because we just got an eight. eight points. They got a ten. No matter. We lost by a lot. We were, we were ahead most of the time, and then they turned it around. They dug deep. And uh, it was fun. It was super fun. This is a great way to shoot with your friends and add uh, perceived pressure. And really, we just, we're just we just hunters. We're just trying to get ready for bow hunting season. And this is going to do it. We'll see you all at Total Archer Challenge in one month from today. Meanwhile, we're on a mission to 100K subs. Tap the sub. Smash the like. Share it with a friend. And keep working hard every day in the name of better elk hunting because it's just around the corner. We appreciate you guys. We'll catch you on the next one.